Well, what's going on YouTube? It's your girl Queen Kimmy from Kimmy underscore Queen of Crafts. And I am doing, oh sorry, I'm doing what's called a kit up video. And what that means is that when you're ready to work on a diamond painting, you get it all set up in whatever storage fashion you choose, whether you like to use the baggies. Um, let me show you. You can put them in these individual little baggies. Um, you can use a storage container um, or you can work directly from these bags. But I'm going to show you what I do. Um, so the one that we're going to be kidding up, it is this one. Rose Sheet Music by Sheena Pike. Actually, I'm sorry, this may not be by Sheena Pike. I have to actually look and see. My apologies on that. But this is a round kit. Tiny size, 7.9 by 10.6 inches. And it's 20 centimeters by 27 centimeters. Only has 23 colors. And this is how the picture looks. So, um... What you need is your scissors. These are my crafter's companion scissors. That's another place that I um, get crafting supplies from. But these scissors are life. They're very sharp and they cut very well. And I've had them for a while and I've never had to sharpen them or anything like that. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's these scissors. But... Sarah Davies, who is um, the owner of Crafter's Companion, she I believe she said that these don't have to be sharpened. Um, don't quote me on that, but I will link the information down below in the description box. Also, with this being a diamond art club, with this one being a diamond art club um, kit, Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate, and I'm going to put my affiliate link down in the description. If you use my affiliate link to make your purchase, I will receive a small commission. So if you do that, thank you so much in advance. I'm giving you a heart. So you need your scissors, you need your drills, and you need whatever type of storage you're going to use. So first thing I do cut all of these apart I cut the other ones apart I just left these few just so you can kind of see how the cutting goes super simple process I let my six-year-old help out and and then what I do next is I put them in order by number so I already had the other ones in order I just need to add these to the order and these are the last one the ones that start with the 3,000 okay so back to the sticker sheet what I do is I take the sticker and I peel it off oops I got two of them but basically I set it on top of here so I have one sitting on top of there usually I try to use the numbers that are already written on here but these kind of go a little weird it has like two three and four up here five is down here that was because I had another diamond painting in this kit so once I put down all of these stickers next thing I do is pull this out I make sure that this number here 134 matches this number here 134 I take this cut a small corner off and remove the trash and then I just pour it in here Now 
And there you go. There's the first color, which happens to also be an AB color. Look at that shiny coat on these beautiful jewels. Oh, and also my nails. These are from Color Street. Um, I will link the information to this down in my uh, description in case you had any questions on it. But yes, this is the first color that's kitted up. Color number two is 310. And if you've been diamond painting forever, everyone knows that the 310 is black. So, I'll just cut it off here. You know what's funny is that uh, yesterday I was kitting up another kit. And I've seen videos of people talking about how the drills are jumpy or um, they're very staticky and I'm sitting up like okay well I haven't experienced that oh man let me tell you the kit or the the diamond painting that I kitted up it had drills all over the place even to the point where I have a six-year-old and she was laying on my bed because I, I kit up on my bed using a table in front of it and she's laying on my bed and my husband freaks out and he comes in the room and he's like what is this on her back and I'm like what are you talking about and he's all what is this on her back like so lately I don't know what but something's been eating up my six-year-old um, I don't know if it's an ant or a spider or whatever but she wakes up with bite marks on her so I'm gonna be going through cleaning the house thoroughly spraying it down just to make sure so he thought that this was like some type of a growth <laughs> due to her being bit so he's flipping out on me talking about what did you do to her back what's wrong why did this happen and I'm like what are you talking about and he finally shows me and I pull it off and he freaks out and I'm like what he's like why would you just pull it off like that I was like because it is a drill it goes to my diamond paintings this is a crafter tool and he looked at me with the craziest look and just walked out and then me and the five-year-old we just died laughing because my husband has such an emotional reaction to everything like now I react very emotional to everything but like when my husband does react it's really funny um, because he doesn't really react to that much so yeah um, one thing that you will learn if you don't already know when you diamond paint you will have drills everywhere when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. Um, uh, my six-year-old, she's usually the one that's hanging tight with me, going everywhere I go, doing everything that I do. So she's always pulling drills off of me like, Mommy, this is on your side, or Mommy, it's right here, or Mommy, it's right there. So she's my little ride or die, <laughs> taking care of her Mommy. And yeah that was interesting my husband like went on a full-on flip out mode and we just thought it was hilarious and he's like it's not funny but yeah it was funny <laughs> so um yeah so uh, a little bit about me um my husband and i have been married since 2010 uh funny story about us being married um so we got married in january of 2010 but i ended up mixing up the day we got mixed up with the year we got mixed up so the first mm, three years of our anniversary we celebrated it on the wrong day so I am super cheesy, super corny, and I hang on to everything. So like the parking receipt from the parking garage, the day we went down to go and get married, I still have that. Um, the little receipt from where we paid for the marriage license, I still have that. Um, I'm a very sentimental person, so I like to hang on to things that to me have a great memory associated with it. So also have a 19 year old 
and this was before the six-year-old was born and um she's like let me see the marriage license and i'm like why she's like i just want to see it i've never seen one before so i show her the marriage license and when i show it to her she reads the date off and i'm thinking no she's got it wrong so I go and look at the date and sure enough, we were celebrating it two days later for the first three years of our marriage, the first three or four. So then we get to our fifth year of marriage where, I don't know, I'm, I'm one of those people that I like when numbers, to me like certain numbers, you reach a milestone like five years marriage, 10 year marriage, 15, all that is important to me. So, my husband, um, he loves college football. And, uh, like, he's watching football right now. And how about on our fifth year anniversary, the year we were actually going to celebrate it on the correct date, his team goes to the bowl. And the date to play is actually on our anniversary day and so <clears throat> i know how <clears throat> excuse me guys i know how important college football is to him so rather than uh choosing to argue <clears throat> excuse me y'all rather than choosing to argue i chose peace and I went ahead and just said, you can go on and watch your game and we'll do something another time, which was surprising to him because normally I make a big deal out of it. Like, nope, you're not getting out of it. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what's going on. This is what we're doing on this day at this time. So that day I just said, watch your game and we'll celebrate another time. So he was oh so gracious and then also his team won so even after their one he was like oh let's go out and do something i'm so hyper i'm so this i was like mm -mm. sit down somewhere because you got too much energy but it happens to him from time to time he gets too excited and i'm like calm down but yeah, so um, I won't take you through the rest of this. I only have a few more because there's only 23 colors. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how I kit up when I'm getting ready to work on a kit. Um, I will have an unboxing video coming with the rose sheet music. I just shot that within the past few days, so I'll be posting that soon. Um, but yes, if you have any questions, comments, emotional outbursts, please put them down in the comments below. Um, I will link um, the Diamond Art Club row sheet music. Um, I'll also link this carrying case. I got it from Craftably. I'll link that. My scissors, trusty crafters companion scissors. I'll link these. My nails. I'll go ahead and link this information down in the description and if no one's told you that they love you today i love you sending you a heart